All right, you guys, thank you so much. Welcome to the Misfit Republic team call post summit 2018, which was hands down the most epic summit I've ever been to. I'm sorry to say that for all of you who couldn't be there or chose not to be there. Um, but I hope that you got massive FOMO. <laughs> I hope that it slowly killed you inside to not be there. Unless you couldn't be there because doctor's orders, in which case, sorry, Joel. <laughs> early on in the business we had made that pact like we are never gonna miss another summit or like our, okay love story time guys the first time I ever met Andrea in real life was at summit of 2012 in Vegas and there was eight coaches on our team there we did not even have the team name Misfit Republic yet and um, Andrea was shopping at the core and I was like, okay, I'll meet you there. And literally like saw her from a distance. She was wearing an insanity little hat. And I was like, yep, that's my girl. And I ran right over and we were sitting in the, um, like sitting in the sessions and everything, taking notes so diligently and just looking at things that other people were accomplishing and looking at each other like, we're going to do this and like, we're not missing another summit. And, um, the only reason why I've ever missed summit is because like, I have not been able to travel due to, um, bed rest. But when, um, we were sitting at our first summit, like I remember seeing people hitting million club and, and multiple star diamond and elite and being like, we are going to do that. We're going to walk across stage together and accomplish those things. 2015, we were in Nashville, celebrated for the first time as elite coaches. Last year in NOLA, celebrated as Million Club members. Like, but we started like fresh in those seats as coaches at Summit. Nobody knew who we were. No recognition of any sort. Eight people within like the entire the entirety of the team and should we just roll into um liz sharing her experience real quick uh yeah okay so i'm gonna unmute can i unmute liz liz can you unmute yourself she can yeah she can unmute herself okay am i good okay yeah so a little love story about liz is she is a new coach she earned her free ticket to Indianapolis this year as a success starter. So that means when she started as a new coach, she hit success club in her first three months in the business. So she earned her ticket to Indy for free. Liz and I met on Instagram through the same condition. We have the same pregnancy condition. And when Liz reached out to me after having her twin daughters, like you guys, she left twin one-year-old daughters and went to Summit. And when she reached out to me, she was just wanting to try workouts. So she first became a Beachbody On Demand member. And then, then I think you messaged me, Liz, and you were like, okay, everybody's talking about Shakeology in the group. Can I try that? Like, and so she, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so she, like I, Liz was like the first person I really met her where she was at when um, she like asked me like, hey, can I just start with just the workouts? And then I was like, yeah, I got her into my ongoing customer community. And then she was completing her holistic health coach certification. And was like, I was like, dude, you've got to do this. Like, you'd be so great at it. You'd love it. Like, you've already been a part of this little community that I have of my, my group of customers. And she became a coach. Like I said, she's an Emerald coach and um, earned her ticket to Indianapolis for success with success starters. Liz, tell us about Indy just really, really quickly as a new coach. And was it worth it? That's the ultimate question. Yeah. Okay. So hi, everyone. Um, it was amazing. So I'll just start with that. Like, there are no words to describe 
like exactly how incredible that experience is. I think you just have to experience it to like really see it. But I will also say that as like a new coach and my first summit, it was also a little bit overwhelming. Like there's a lot of people there. There's a lot going on. Um, I was unfamiliar with the city. Like you said, I was leaving my twins. So I was a little bit anxious about that. Um, and it was just in general, I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't really know anyone. Um, but despite all of that, like I had an amazing time. Like I was really sad to leave actually. Um, it's just an amazing sense of community. Like everyone is there and everyone's kind of on the same page. And like, you just get this really like supportive feeling, like even coaches that aren't on your team. Um, like we're meeting people everywhere and everyone just like kind of like lifts everyone up. And it just was such like just overwhelming, I think, in terms of like positive experience. Um, but to be there in person, I think for the sessions and for the trainings, that to me was the best part. Um, I don't have words to summarize like how motivating and informative and inspiring those like talks were. Um, people say all the time, like you leave Summit with a fire in your heart. And I like really truly understand that now in a way that I didn't think I would. But in terms of like, is it worth it? Absolutely, it's 100% worth it. Um, I think it's the best thing I've done for my business so far. Yeah. Um, it's an important, I think, investment for yourself and for your business. Um, but to be honest with you, like when I signed up to be a coach with you six months ago, I guess now that is, and I learned that Summit was coming up in June, I was like, I don't think I'm gonna go to that. I'm gonna be too new. Like, I'm not gonna have done anything with the business yet. Like. I don't know if I really be able to get anything out of it until I'm a successful coach. Like I was thinking like I had to be successful before I went there. And I think that what I really came away with was that you don't become successful and go to summit. You are successful because you went to summit, right? Like that is the message I got from you just you, like listening to all the other successful coaches, the ones being recognized for all of their accomplishments and almost all of them had the same story like my first summit was like a light bulb moment for them or was the push the fire gave them the fire like that's what drove them to their eventual success and i think that that was a big takeaway for me for sure mm -hmm. and that's exactly what i wanted you guys to hear from liz did not prompt her to say any of those awesome quotables she did because i know you guys have heard andrea and i talk about summit for years and years and years but I really wanted you to hear it from a new coach like Liz. And I know Andrea's got the chat all fired up right now. The summit special right now is $130. You guys, that is a $165 savings. So you're getting your summit ticket price for half of what it is worth. And with all the speakers, all like everything like that is so cheap for a conference. Andrea and I have gone to like Brendan Burchard paid thousands of dollars for a Brendan Burchard conference. And we heard him speak at summit last year and the speakers that were there this year, thousands of dollars to attend their conferences, $130. That pricing is available until July 9th at 1159 Eastern Standard Time. So you can go to coachsummit.com and there's that $130 price. And you guys, I, I mean, I wasn't there this year, but I trust Andrea when she, and, and all of the other coaches who've been to other summits saying that this one was like the best one, the location, the vibe, like it's just gonna keep getting better and better every single year. Here's what I would do if you guys are flat broke. I would go into my garage and I would find something and I would go sell it on Craigslist and I would go buy and I've done that. I even went like for one of the summits, I ate out of my cabinets for as long as I could without having to buy groceries so that I could just take that. I was eating the weirdest fucking meals, you guys. Probably very, very high carb, lots of yellows because that's what was all in my cabinets and every eating everything on it. You guys know that there's shit in your freezer where you're like, Nah, I'm not eating that. If you have stuff in your pantry and your refrigerator that you're not eating just because you don't want to, you have luxury. So you got some wiggle room somewhere in there. It's really at this point just deciding. As soon as you decide, 
shit falls into place. Like the universe is going to get behind your back once you're ready. And then what I would do is I would focus on working my Beachbody business and I would save just $15 every single week until next summit. At that point, you guys will have $780 in the bank for travel. So you guys can buy an airplane ticket. Then you guys can share a room with other coaches, which makes it usually just like, I think some coaches said that they were even paying $150 each to put down towards like a house together, super, super cheap. And then you have a little bit of money left over for food. Half the time I didn't even have time to go sit down for meals. So I was like eating beach bars <laughs> and ecology. So like that, that was just stuff that I was bringing with me. And you guys have a whole year, obviously, if you're working your business and you guys are hitting success club, that's plenty of extra money to put away to invest back in your business. And I can honestly say that even though I've made over a million dollars in Beachbody, Beachbody does not guarantee any level of success or income, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've probably at least invested a hundred thousand dollars into my education through mm. events, but some it's always the cheapest and I get yes. so much out of it. Like Joel said, we've spent thousands of dollars to go hear Brendan Bruchard speak. And then what does Beachbody do? Beachbody pays probably like 50 grand to get Brendan Bruchard, Brendan Bruchard to stand on the stage and teach you guys the stuff that we paid a crap ton of money to go travel to in a different event to go to. Beachbody cultivates some of the most exceptional speakers, not just the best of the best in the network who are completely willing to share what they're doing that's making sense, that's relative to our businesses within the last 12 months. Beachbody finds the best, whoever's crushing their business the hardest in one particular area, they take those coaches, toss them on stage, and they share exactly what they're doing. And people don't hold anything back. Not to mention that, but the general session speakers will leave you laughing, they will leave you crying, they will leave your heart changed forever, and they will give you practical, tactical tools that will give you the ability to take now the fire that's like cultivating in your soul to then go put it into practice to be able to move your business forward. You guys, if you truly say, and this is how I know who, who means what they say, when you tell me or any other coach on your team, I need to make this business work, I will know your you're telling the truth if you show up to summit. I, I dare say that because I know those are the coaches who will no matter what, do whatever it takes to make this work. I'm not blowing sunshine up your ha ass just so that we can like sit at the bar and have drinks together. Well, that's fun and that's nice. And I enjoy that too. I truly know from looking at my own bank account, what this business has done or what that event has done financially for me as well. I always see growth in my income. Now I'm telling you guys today, because it is just the day after everybody left from summit that you have to be there at summit, but you guys have an advantage to anybody who signs up later next year. And that's that you're not just going to go to summit by yourself. You guys have a year to go to summit with a team. And if you guys really want to see financial leverage, do not go to Summit alone. Mm -hmm. Go to Summit with a team. Not only is it fun, not only do you get to post pictures that give people FOMO, it's a great recruiting tool. Alicia Albert messaged me. She's like, two girls said yes, just because they were like so jealous of seeing our pictures. I sign coaches like that all the time where they're like, these events look like so much fun. How can I do that? And they don't even know what it is. Just the events alone are recruiting leverage. They're fantastic for getting people to join your team who are searching and desperate for community. But I will tell you guys that going to summit with coaches in your downline is like the best thing that you can do for your business. So if you're a coach right now, I would say set a goal to show up to summit with 10 or 20 people next year. My first year, Joelle just said like our first summit, we had eight people there. Only two of those people were in my downline. But after that, then it was like, I don't know what, 30 or maybe even a hundred. And then it was 200 and then it was 300. So each year we were like pretty much doubling or at least adding a hundred people. So I'm just challenging you guys right now to think like, what do I want and why do I want it? Summit is the way because it's going to give you the best, most condensed, most timely training that you could possibly get. Okay. And the heart, the word like, we see this virtual hangouts as real life and like, you know, my friends in Canada and Wisconsin and, and everywhere. It's like, 
like we feel connected on this, but the connection in a physical spot is total game changer. You hear from the CEO of the company, like, you know, you are not just a part of another network marketing company. You're a part of a business that is solely focused on our main mission which is helping people. And when you see the Beachbody challenge and the winners of that and the stories of everybody and how their lives have changed and transformed, your belief in what we do as a professional standpoint elevates even higher because it was like, for a while I sat there and was like ashamed to say I'm a Beachbody coach because it didn't sound cool. And now it's like, I don't care what people think about my profession because we have the freaking coolest job ever to impact people's lives in ways physically and financially. And you don't feel that unless you go. So true. And I can't tell you guys how many people walked up to me at summit and literally before they could even open their mouth and say a word, their mouth was quivering. And then all of a sudden some weird shit was spilling out of their eyeballs. And I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> the amount of like emotion finally getting to come out about like how this business really, really changes you. And it sounds cliche, but I think only we truly know like what that feels like getting to finally have those moments. And I can say as a leader, and Joel and I were just talking about this yesterday on the phone, these face-to-face -face moments create trust and they create loyalty. And if you guys want to build an unshakable business that even during a really challenging year when Beachbody had to go digital and a lot of people, some people couldn't withstand the loss of income and they walked away. If you guys want to create an unshakable business that even during a challenging year, you're still having exceptional, exceptional um, financial stability pouring into your bank account every single Thursday, it does start with loyalty. Mm -hmm. All right. So until the 9th, I think I said. Yep. Um, that 130 price, July 9th. So your guys' game plan, sign up, go sell some shit out of your garage. I don't care where you find your money. Call your mom, borrow it from a friend. Go. <laughs> I can't even like begin to guess how many people sit on the side of the street with their, their little cups, but like, I'll do whatever it takes. Like if I have to stand out there for a full day and smile at people and be like, I'll give you a hug for a dollar. <laughs> like I'll freaking give people hugs for dollars to get to summit. Whatever it's now. Do a garage sale. Garage sale. Yeah. That's probably the easiest thing. Or go sell like the freaking... <laughs> couple challenge packs. That's also pretty easy. Or that. <laughs> Go and help some people. And that's a great option as well, I suppose. <laughs> I suppose. Since that is my business. <laughs> but again, $15 a week out of your paychecks is plenty of money for you guys to make some happen. You can totally, totally make that work. Okay. Next thing, Beach Your Best. If you guys hadn't heard about that, Beachbody announced July as a Beach Your Best month. So it's not a team cup month where we're competing against each other. I think this is epic. I'm so obsessed with this. We're just beating ourselves. And I love the concept of just deciding that it's me against me. I'm just going to be, be my personal best. Um, so go check out the, um, FAQ on that one. They should, there should be announcement in your, um, coach online office, but that's, I think something that I'm really excited about for July that can give you guys something fun. I'm going to say, use the end of June to obviously hit success club. If you were at summit, we have a coach sneak peek going on. So you guys can be inviting to that. Make sure to have a few new team members join with you Hit success club. Um, and then I would take any extra time that you have left in June to do some reflection and ask yourself, where do I want to be next year? What gives me the butterflies? And what do I want to, where do I want to stick my freaking flag in the sand and just say like, I'm doing this. I stuck my flag in the sand and said, I'm going to be a 15 star diamond coach in one of my business centers next year. I'm so sick of my kids coming up to me and being like, mom, do you guys, do you have a, are you at a 15 star diamond team yet? They ask me this seriously all the time. And I'm like, nobody's not yet. And I just like cried this morning thinking, you know what, next year I'm going to bring my kids to summit. And today I booked two rooms 
for Summit, one for me and my husband, and one for my son and my daughter since they're teenagers. And we're all going to Summit. And for the first time ever, my kids are going to sit in the audience and my kids are going to see their mom stand up on stage, seeing her, her work for eight years at that point towards a goal and never giving up. It's not about the goal. It's about the fact that even though it didn't happen as fast as I wanted to, I refuse to give up on it. And I want to teach my kids persistence. And I want to teach my kids vision. And that right there, that lit up motherfucking fire in this mama's soul. I want my kids to see what that looks like. And I have to be the person to go first. So you guys will see next year, Andrea Crowder representing Misfit Republic as a 15 star diamond team for our collective efforts. And not only do I get to teach that to my children, but you guys get to teach that to my children because you guys will be a part of it. It will be a team effort. And I cannot, I can't even be more excited to think about that experience of seeing my baby's eyeballs in the audience. So that's where my stuck that flag in the sand today. I don't know what you guys, what your flag looks like, but declare it now. Comment in the chat section and tell us what you're going to do or go comment in the team page. I've created a little screensaver on my phone so that I can see it every single day and remind myself where I'm going. I booked the two, um, like Sean, Sean said when he was talking um, on the stage at Summit, I act as if he pretty much just like aligned himself with the law of attraction during that speech. It was, it was so epic for me, but he's like, the brain wants you to to feel the feeling before you have it. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's what I've been trying to teach my team all this time. So here I am, I'm, I'm booking my, the, um, the rooms and I'm taking the actions as if this is a non-negotiable, it's already happened, it's whatever. It's like not even a big thing at this point because it's just pretty much already done. We got two star, we have diamond. You're gonna bring seven coaches, I see that. Someone's a uh, five star, three star. You guys are going so fast. Like, this is amazing. I'm so excited. <laughs> Next thing, find a success partner. We're going to talk, I'll talk a little bit about that when we go into the um, team wide diamond retreat that we're going to announce tonight, which is why we have such high attendance tonight. <laughs> I know you guys are here. That's what you guys are waiting for. It. <laughs> Wondering why everybody was so diligently listening to. <laughs> weird that we have so many people on the team call tonight <laughs> yeah okay guys what can i just tangent for a second this is the new freaking normal for team calls and it's going to be keep growing like i want you guys to help us create that this is the mama jamma call and um misfit republic leaders you guys it would always welcome to host it this doesn't have to be the Joelle Andrea show. So many of you guys, like, if you have a coach that's like, I've fallen off or I want to start building again or want to grow again, step one, do the vital behavior. Step two, engage back into team calls because we learned our businesses through team calls. Like, yeah. attendance is getting pretty low and that was making my heart sad. Just saying. <laughs> I know because I hear about it from her. Yeah. <laughs> Why is there only so many people? <laughs> um, yes, this is the new standard. You guys, like some things have to be a non-negotiable. You just have to decide and make time for it. The national wake up call, non-negotiable. Team call, non-negotiable. This is where the community starts to happen. And, and Sean Anker, the speaker at Summit this year, he talked about the fact, that's why I was saying in the chat earlier, where are my fireflies at? Because he talked about the fact that like, People right now are drawn to and motivated by community. That's a huge, huge selling point for people. So if we're going to take that concept and we're going to leverage it for, um, I just saw Hannah pop up a message um, saying that she wants to host a team call. So way to take action, sister. Go into the Diamond Group, put yourself down for a team call. It's in the bell section. Um, but yeah, he talks about like community leverage that people want that people are craving that also the other speaker um who was talking about personality types i can't remember her name the the older gal who was given chelsea a hard time about not wearing a watch um she was talking about the different personality types like the circles and the squiggles they want to be around people so you want to make sure that you're setting the example I'm a triangle. I'm not necessarily one of those people where like, I have to be around people all this time, but I know that I have to set the example, right? People, your team 
a small percentage of your team will duplicate what you do. But if you're not doing it, almost no one will duplicate it, right? So you really, truly, if you want to know what it means to be a good leader, simply put, do your shit and tell them what you do. That is what a good leader looks like. So if you guys think, who am I to be a leader? You don't have to be anything special. Just lead by example, right? Where am I? Tell, put your square below in the chat section. I want to see how many. I know we have a lot of circles on our team, which I think is so funny. You guys are all the huggers, the ones that embrace me for like 37 seconds at <laughs> some who was the coach? Oh gosh, I can see her her face in my in my head. I hugged her willingly for like 30 seconds. She had the best. It was one of Hannah's girls. I can see her. I could like drop myself, but like your name is not popping. Becca. Yes, Becca. If you guys see Becca at Summit next year, you better go get a hug from her because she literally has the best energy. I was like, I would not stop embracing her because I was like, your hugs feel so amazing. Why is that? <laughs> and I'm totally not one. I'm not the type of person for, to go in for long embraces, but she gave the best hugs. Okay. Super Saturday. Since we're talking about community, Super Saturday is coming up July. Oh no. Yeah. July 7th. So the weekend after um, 4th of July. This is your first opportunity to kind of put your money where your mouth is and think about the community aspect and what people are looking for and show up for Super Saturday, invite a guest, see if you can get to one that where other Miss Republic coaches are. But this is like, Super Saturdays are like a little teeny mini summit. So if you had some FOMO, if you want to continue carrying on the fire and the passion, because these fires that you get, like the crazy motivation that you get from Summit, those will that motivation will burn out if you do not stoke the flame right it's just like a normal fire if you leave it unattended it will burn out or somebody will rain on your motherfucking fire right so you have to do intentional things to um hold on we've got like some codes there we go so you guys have to do the intentional thing to make sure to keep your um, your fire lit. And the first thing to do is get to a super Saturday and to bring people with you. That's what I would highly recommend. Okay. So what was the next thing that I was going to tell you guys? Um, oh, if you guys weren't at summit, watch the recording from the, from Sean anchor, um, who talks about the happiness advantage Oh my God. You guys can't just go watch the Ted talk. I know it's only 12 minutes and it seems like it's going to save you a lot of time. I watched that one with my son today because I wanted him, I was like so excited to talk about this stuff with my kids. Um, but it missed out on a lot of information. And I feel like the firefly analogy, if you guys were at summit, you know what I'm talking about is like something that really just gave me this powerful visual to think about as I'm growing my, my business and continuing to grow my team it's essentially to wrap it up really quickly. He was essentially saying like, when you guys work synchronized together, it actually is far more powerful than to have one person be super epic and amazing versus like a thousand people all like synchronizing their efforts together. It, the success rate that people have as a group and then also individually is exponentially higher. So I'm not doing it justice. He told the story way better than I just did. And he's also very charming and funny. You will fall in love with him. He's amazing. Okay. Joelle, do you have anything else to say before we talk about the reason that everybody's here tonight? Um, just with the few little other announcements, the ones, I mean, you guys, we still have Lift 4 as such a focus. So if you haven't had your, um, you know, the listen to the previous team call, it's on the YouTube channel about leveraging the launch of Lift 4, that's still the focus. And then there was also um, the other announcements which really cater towards fall. And I think it's a really good idea to go through your coach online office. You'll hear at Super Saturday those upcoming announcements, but really keeping lift four um at the forefront and you guys like i don't know if you heard about the whole pumpkin spice shakeology thing but i kind of feel like 
it's going to be hard for me to talk about it with people because I just want to buy it all for myself, but I won't. I'm going to tell my customers about it and get them hyped up and get the team hyped up. But really, I'm going to have a truckload coming to my house and um, the information kind of all on, on that kind of stuff is in the coach online office and will be covered in super Saturday as well. So not to be too repetitive, but there's still so much excitement over lift four with doing and the, uh, we, yeah, we it was like a month launch. So we can keep launching that one. Like I'm going to keep going, but if you guys, um, I'll pop this again in the group, but we have an info group for lift four. And then I also started a challenge group today. For if you have customers that have already purchased, you guys can put them into um, our forever body group. So if you guys want to do like a team wide challenge with us and you don't want to host your own that I just opened that group today, I haven't posted that one yet. So I'll post both of those afterwards, but think about what you feel most connected to. If you're like obsessed with 2B, you guys can keep launching 2B and then just upgrade people to lift four later on. Or if you're like super pumped for lift four, go hard with lift four and then like talk about TV later, later on or, or not. But either way, just pick the one that you're most connected with. Like we can keep launching those programs for years. Like just keep going as long as you have passion and excitement for them. Um, okay. Are we ready? I'm so excited. Can I add you story? <laughs> I have like butterflies. Blair, yesterday I was spending like a long time looking for that Sean speech and I couldn't find it yet. But when I will still be on the hunt for it, post it in the group. I haven't found it yet. I even searched Scotty Hobbs's YouTube channel and usually he's the fastest one to uploading that kind of shit. So, yeah. Dang. All right, comment in the chat section if you're so fucking excited to hear us announce the first ever Misfit Republic Leadership Retreat. <gasps> Yay! I'm so excited, you guys. All right. Okay. Joelle and I were talking, and you guys know that, well, we kind of already announced it at the end of last year, but then the whole baby situation happened. I told Joelle, like, you literally cannot have any more children. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just getting in the way of our plans. But honestly, I think it was like divinely, I don't think, I know it was divinely perfect because I feel like with the launch of like 2B and the bars and Lift 4 and Pumpkin Spice Shakeology, like the amount of things that we have to leverage this year, that is literally the easiest year for you guys to actually be shooting towards um, the goal of diamond and obviously beyond, especially because we've got these new amazing like official coach test groups that Beachbody lets us invite to. That's a massive, massive upsell to get people interested in coaching. I had so many people with 2B Mindset convert to coach when they were getting ready to sign up because they wanted to be in Alana's test group so they could ask her questions. And I know a lot of people do the same thing with Joel. So my guess is Beachbody is going to continue to do that because that has been so successful for people um, rank advancing, for people um, getting new coaches started in their business. Even if people thought that they were coming in as a discount coach, a lot of them are actually like, but wait, what is this actually coaching thing? How do I actually make money? And there's probably people sitting on this call right now that signed up last month with me for 2B Mindset and was like, wait, I think I'm actually going to do this coaching thing. So making sure that you guys are leveraging the launches. So let me share my screen and I'll show you guys a little image with specific details. Okay. So April 25th through the 28th, 2019 is the specific date or the, the dates for the retreat. You guys have to qualify in 2018, but we wanted to make sure that you guys had a big enough gap to be able to qualify and then book reasonably priced tickets. Also, the new leader conference is in February. The Success Club trip is in March. So we wanted to make sure that you guys didn't have multiple trips within the same month. And if you guys are working on rank advancing your business, it's likely that you're probably going to qualify for that new leader retreat as well 
through Beachbody Corporate. So we wanted to make sure that you guys had the chance to go to any and all of those that you want. Um, so you must begin qualifying, meaning that you have to be a paid diamond. Your online, your coach online office must represent diamond rank on November 22nd, which means if you guys know about Beachbody qualification deadlines, it means that you'll have to have everything in order to be able to be a diamond coach on the 21st by midnight Eastern. Write that down if you're a new coach and you've never done a rank qualification before. Midnight Eastern Wednesday. So 11.59 and 59 seconds. As soon as it hits 12, actually it's too late. So it's 11.59 and 59 seconds. I know that to be true because I have fucked myself over with two seconds before. They do not screw around. <laughs> so um, this gives you guys an eternity of time to be able to accomplish that goal, but you also have to maintain your rank to December 6th. So you have to be holding it the following Thursday and the Thursday after that consecutively till December 6th. We're not just looking for someone to invite like some, like mom and dad to become a coach for a week or something like that just to qualify for this retreat. Um, we're looking for people who are building stable businesses with working coaches. Those are the people that we want to be spending time with at this retreat. Now, due to the fact that we have, we're not renting out an entire hotel like Beachbody does, we do have also a limited number of spaces. We have, we have booked three houses. They're all side by side and they are smack, smack right dab on, I don't know if I said that right, right on the beach. So literally you open up the back door and it's sand. There are jet skis, there are paddle boards, there's fishing, there's hammocks, there's literally all the fun things. You guys will never even have to leave this house. And we have three different houses so that we can kind of, we can decide how we want to work this. If we want to group up within like teams together, like smaller sub teams together. So you guys can be with your friends. Um, you guys have so many, you, the cool thing is, is you guys don't have to go pay literally I've never paid for a retreat under five figures, never. Um, it's a substantial investment to be able to host something like that. I'm sure some people have, like generally my retreats have had a, a pretty large amount of people, but um, it's a big cost and you guys don't have to incur the cost aside from we are asking because this is a team-wide registration or this is a team-wide event. We kind of looked at Beachbody and we're like, how does Beachbody do leadership that which we go to in the fall and that's mm -hmm. that they just have us they have us pay a $300 registration fee to be able to go to that but other than that the food is included as well as the lodging so we're like okay we'll just do it the same as beach body but we'll only do a hundred dollar registration fee so you guys show up in the lodging and the food will be cared for um less the hundred dollar registration fee and then you guys have to get yourselves there but there will be 45 sleeping spaces um, so if it comes to the point where we have a larger number of people that are qualified, average number of monthly success club points will be the tiebreaker, which means that if a new coach comes and they, you know, come into the business in September, they would still be able to count towards that because it's the average over mo the months that they've been a coach throughout the year. So if they've only been a coach for, you know, two months, it's the average, you know, between the two months versus competing against someone who had an entire year to rack up success club points. So we decided that would be the most simple way. So Stewart, Florida, three houses, all with like the most epic fun things that you could possibly do. We're going to have fire pits and s'mores and like all the fun things. Um, and then of course you guys can use this retreat to encourage your coaches to be working towards rake advancing. Now, what we want to tell you guys, and this is what's been really important and on my heart is this is a fun thing to earn, but this is not why we work our business. Let me say that again. This is a fun thing to earn and this is a fun thing to show up for, but this is not why we work our beach body businesses. Because if you're only working towards a goal, as soon as you hit that goal, all of a sudden, all the, the focused intention that you were putting in your business goes away because now the deadline has since passed. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you know you're working your business because 
You want long-term stability. You want to help people feel better. You want people to have physical, incredible results. You want to give people friendship and community and all of those things. None of those things have expiration dates. Well, this does. So I ask you to set the intention that, yes, go diamond, but don't go diamond just for the retreat. Make sure that that's just the icing, the icing on the already awesome cake. Joelle. Amen. Amen to all of that. And I, I'm so pumped that this is team-wide, so we'll get to meet so many of you guys and spend more quality time together, um, more time than we do, than we can at Summit, because the schedule is just so packed. This is just going to be a really fun community girl time retreat together and we'll we'll be learning and talking business stuff too but it's just going to be a lot of just hangout time where we can really connect with you guys and I love the property like it's it's epic it's mm, it's wow <laughs> it's, it's wow I'm also going to reach out and he said yes every year in the past that his schedule has allowed. So I'm hoping it will be the same for this year, but um, I'm going to reach out to Jeff Hill and see if he'll come out and speak to you guys and how amazing to be able to have the VP of the entire company come spend a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time with you guys, giving you some leadership um, tips and some one-on-one -on -one engagement. I think that any ask I'll ask my girls who have been at the previous two retreats that he's been at of mine was it not like the most incredible he's he's not only a phenomenal speaker but he's genuinely a salt of the earth just really incredible human being so just being in his presence is amazing so I'm going to reach out to him and I'm going to invite him and see if we can block his calendar for this event my guess is is beach buddy knowing that there's going to be 50 leaders in one K in one little space they're going to be like yes get over there because Beachbody wants to sow and invest into the leaders of this company. That's also important to them. So that will be something fun that we'll be looking forward to. And with the time frame, you guys, you have so much time to build above and beyond Diamond. Diamond is a total of eight personally sponsored coaches, two of those of which are Emerald coaches. And, um, I mean, we've coasted. a couple of years ago, we kind of coined the term double diamond, meaning add a, having 12 active coaches to your team, four emeralds, two of which on each leg, making your rank solid. And, you know, if I remember listening early in the, in the business um, to Craig Holiday speaking, and he always said, like, if you're building and consistently adding to your network one or to your team once you hit a rank you really don't fall back that far because you have continual growth the people that were in my first original eight of me being a diamond coach two of those people are still here you know and i've i've brought in hundreds of people into this business and the, like you, it's continually adding to your team. So don't just think that, you know, you're going to add in eight people and then wait around for people to go emerald. You know, you, you really want to continual, have continual growth in your team. Two to three people per month from now until the, these deadline dates will get you to that goal. Here's how I would shoot for Diamond if I were a brand new coach. Um, so like Joel said, you need eight coaches, four on each leg, active coaches. So if all you guys have to do is Google Beachbody diamond rank and the qualifications for what diamond means will come up. So if you have any confusion, always do your own research, never trust a single soul that they're going to give you the right information. Even me, because I flub on information all the time, <laughs> pretty much got diamond down, but always check FAQ in case the body changes something. You don't want to be that person that's like there at the deadline and it's like, but Andrea said, and Beach Buddy's going to say, but I don't care because Andrea was wrong. So always go do your own research. That's the best piece of business advice you'll ever get from me. <laughs> Never trust a soul. <laughs> um, okay. 
I, you need four coaches on each leg, active coaches, meaning that they have either bought or sold 50 PV personal volume points of product. So if they're on Shakeology HD, they're active. Um, two of those coaches, one on your left and one on your right, have to be active paid Emerald coaches. So again, those dates, and we'll post this into the team page so that you guys can say it, save it as your screensaver or whatever, um, but you guys have to begin qualifying and you have to hold it consecutively from the first date through the last date. So you want to learn to go into your sponsorship drill down in your coach online office to pay attention to see if it looks like anybody may be projected inactive that would affect your rank. This is very important. So if you don't know anything about your sponsorship drill down, reach out to your sponsor and start and get on a, a Zoom and have them kind of show you around until you get your, your, your legs underneath you and you feel more sturdy about it. Um, but I check my sponsorship drill down usually multiple times a week to make sure that I can catch problems before they arise because maybe somebody had a return. If somebody had a customer return a bag of Shakeology and they have Shakeology, well, that would take them back down to zero points. However, what I will tell you guys and make sure to tell other people because not everybody knows this, Beachbody has a rule called active status guarantee. What this means is, is that if you're on Shake. HD, or if you have 90 PV of home direct orders, this means your active status is protected, but you have to tell Beachbody before a rank issue. So if you see somebody had a return, but they are on Shakeology, reach out to um, Beachbody and let them know and ask them to activate active status guarantee on your account. These are little rank things that don't get talked about that I wanted to bring up with you guys today. So four on your left, four on your right, two of them have to be emerald, one on each side. What I would do is thinking about the things that I have coming up in my business. Number one, if I was just at Summit or even if not, I would be inviting people to our coach sneak peek that we have going on right now because we're going to be sharing lots of Summit pictures and showing, showcasing the community quite a bit. I would also be hosting a sneak peek or a snoop group into coaching at least once a month. You do not have to have a success story to do this. You just have to know how to share stories. So if you have not made a single penny in this business, team up with your sponsor or other coaches and start sharing other people's stories. You can share my story. You can share your sponsor's story. You can share Hannah's story. You can share there's, we have so many incredible success stories on this team. The big ones are not always the most relatable. So finding coaches who are making a thousand dollars a month is very, very appealing and very relatable to a lot of people. Also Joe's Joel's test group. Um, so as people are interested in lift four, I would invite them to see if they wanted to become a coach and participate in the coach test group. I would even be talking about the coach test group and how rare and unusual and amazing it is that not only do they get to do the program with you, but they get to do the program with the freaking hot ass celebrity trainer. Yes, I'm totally going to pimp Joel out because he's pretty and girls like him. <laughs> so yes, I'm absolutely going to pimp Joel out. So I would be bringing people in. I would be inviting them to the test group and I would set a goal for myself to help four new coaches enroll in my team in a month. That is not a lot of coaches. That is a very, very, it's not a slow pace, but I feel like it's a pace that keeps your excitement up about building momentum in your business. As coaches are enrolling in the business, then, especially if I'm a brand new coach and I don't know anything, I'm gonna add them to our Misfit Republic Boss Basics group. That group stays linked to the top of our Misfit Republic group, our big team page. So if you ever lose it, can't find it, whatever, can't remember the name of it, just go up there and it's link, It's one of the linked groups at the top of the big team page. Just go click on that, add your new coach. Do not just add them and run, right? Reach out to them, check in with them. A new coach's excitement in their first couple weeks of coaching is really, really important. So take advantage of their excitement, be checking in with them, make sure that they kind of see where the training is. 
Um, I like to recruit in batches. That's why I like to do snoop groups or, or sneak peeks, whatever you want to call them. Because if I bring in a few people at the same time, then I put everybody in a group together and then I can train them all at the same time. And I'm like, okay, here's the group. Okay, here's when our next challenge group starts. This is the date that you need people to sign up by. And I'm just having them invite to my groups. We're going to have a team-wide lift four group and I have a team-wide to be mindset group, which I call Rebel Body Babes, which I co-host with Kara Alwaleba. So if you guys want to invite to our Rebel Body Babes or you want to invite to Forever Body, which is our Lift 4 group, you guys already have challenge groups that you guys can be inviting to. And as you bring new team members on, you can have them invite to the same challenge group. This takes way less effort from you unless you want to host your own groups because that sounds fun and exciting to you, then go do that. But it just gives you one less thing to have to try to implement before you can take action. Somebody said earlier in the group, and I'm not going to say names, but I'm just going to give a little social wink to the person who was like, I'm a CEO today because I ordered business cards. And I'm like, but business cards aren't actually going to build your business. And I'm so excited for you for your business cards. But it was like, if I was going to hear someone say, I'm a CEO, that person would have been like, I wrote an invite post inviting people to join my sneak peek. That's what I would say, like stepping up as the CEO of your business is because you can work a business with or without business cards, but I have them. I never use them because my business is on social media. So, um, and I'm only giving her a hard time, but at the same time, I want you guys to know the people who end up at the retreat are not going to be the most talented. They're not going to be special. They're not going to be the prettiest. They're not going to be the fittest. They're just going to be the people that take the most intentional action. That's it. With the most positive attitude. And they're not going to just be the people who have a ton of followers. No. Like the number of followers or people on your social pages is irrelevant, especially when it comes to this small of a goal. In reality. So if you, a lot of you guys are holding yourselves back because you're like, none of the people following me want to do this. Step one, make sure that you're always adding to your network, connecting in conversation with people, building relationships. So then down the road, you always have somebody to genuinely invite to. It grows over time. Like everybody starts at square one in joining the business with a warm market. And it, it takes time to grow and consistency and showing up. And to get to Diamond specifically, it's not, a, it's not about having tons and tons of followers. It's about quality relationships. Mm -hmm. And at the Power If I Am this year, it was like so amazing because Janelle Summers, who's one of the top coaches in the network, said that she had a coach who was a reality TV star. She had hundreds of thousands of followers on social media and she never made a penny with her beach body business. So followers does not equal success. Relationships does. It's nice to have a lot of followers, but if you don't have connection and trust with those followers, it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. <sighs> okay. What else was like? Oh yeah. So here's how I wrap up our business plan. Number one, am I using the products? Do I feel awesome? Am I getting myself results? Number two, am I sharing the results that I'm getting on social media and inviting people to get results with me. Number three, after I help get those people results, am I inviting them to join as a coach on my team? After they join as a coach on my team, am I making sure they continue to get results, personal results, and teaching them how to then invite to our challengers? That is the whole business plan wrapped up in 12 seconds. That's how you become a successful coach in Beachbody. It's not that complicated. We like to overcomplicate it though. So last question, who's gonna be at the retreat with us? You guys, I made a big fat freaking deposit yesterday and I was like squealing sitting in the Marriott Hotel yesterday saying, it is fucked. <laughs> Nobody can stop us now. <laughs> I cannot wait to see all of you guys there. And honestly, I can't wait to see you guys start hosting your own retreats if you feel like inspired to do that. But 
either way we have some epic growth to do and most importantly we get to do it together which is like way more fucking fun right <laughs> cassandra i love you <laughs> I knew that you wouldn't go home crying and telling mom if I threw you under the bus really quick. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Cassandra's the one who ordered the business cards. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to stop recording.